One thing that has always fascinated me is the weather. In fact, natural disasters are something that when I see happen and hear about those, they amaze me. They amaze me because of their violence, but they sadden me as well because of the loss of life or the loss of other things. When Jesus died on the cross, there were actually two natural things that took place that we can look at and we can question and think, wow, how could that possibly happen? And as Jesus was approaching that time of death, the sky darkened, and if you look at the time of day, it was about noon to 3 p.m. The sky darkened completely, and it looked as if it were dark. But then after Jesus died, the entire earth shook. And when that took place, a temple curtain was torn from top to bottom. How is it that a 60-foot tall curtain could be torn? It was about a foot thick and 30 feet wide, and yet it was torn from top to bottom. It was if God had taken his hands and slammed them down, and the earth shook, and there was an earthquake. Jesus died on the cross, and at this moment, God said, you can come directly to me. That's part of what the sanctuary is about, and that's part of what the way that we live is about as well. Knowing that we first can come to God in all that we do knowing that we can come to God in all of the areas of our life, whether it's our relationship, whether it's our addictions, whether it's the areas we struggle in, whether it's the areas we just miss with Him. And that's why having a sanctuary is so important because we can get away with Him and speak with Him one-on-one. -on -one. And as we speak with Him one-on-one -on -one and grow with Him more one-on-one, -on -one, we can start to live with Him in such a way that we can separate ourselves as His disciples. I want you to think about that. I want you to rest with that. I want you to go to your sanctuary and talk to God about that, and we'll talk more tomorrow.